Hello everyone and welcome back to the China EV show and today we're going to be looking into a move that has shaken the global automotive industry. If you think the JV between Xpong and VW is big then you are not going to believe this. But before we begin as usual don't forget to give us a like and subscribe it helps the channel a lot. Now let's get into it. Stellantis a global heavyweight known for its massive portfolio of brands including Jeep, Dodge, Fiat, Chrysler, Citroen, etc, 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 has decided to add yet another brand to its collection. What is so special about this new brand? Number one, it's EV. Number two, it's Chinese. That's right, it's happened again. Stellantis has made a groundbreaking 1.5 billion euro investment to acquire 20% of Leap Motor in an attempt to reshape the landscape of the EV market in both China and the world. I know what you're thinking. Who is Leap Motor? Leap Motor is a Chinese EV startup known for making its compact, and small electric cars. Their first few vehicles were, to be honest, a bit rubbish and their fate was uncertain. More recently, the brand has come into its stride to produce some pretty tasty offerings. Last month, it actually ranked in the top 10 of NEV brands in China with sales just over 15,000 units. Stellantis's stake in Leap Motor is far more than just a simple financial investment. The joint venture, much like that of VW and Xpong, stands to be a symbiotic relationship aimed at both marketing and selling Leap Motors products worldwide, while also giving Stellantis skin in the game in the EV market in China. While in the past, Stellantis has enjoyed some success in the China market, the growth of homegrown EV brands has caused its sales to diminish and joint ventures to suffer. Last year, it's JV that makes Jeeps in China filed for bankruptcy. At this point, Stellantis barely exists in China anymore. This strategic move signifies Stellantis' ambition to take the offensive in the global EV race. By acknowledging its position in China and the strength of its Chinese competitors, Stellantis is putting itself in the driver's seat for the global EV future. It's now more ready to compete aggressively in the rapidly evolving EV landscape. If it is to maintain that number four spot in the list of global automakers, the China market is essential. And it believes it can solve this by embracing a Chinese brand. Why? because the idea of Western automakers just coming to China and expecting every success is finished. With the rapid advancements in Chinese EV tech, electrification, battery development, and cost efficiency, Stellantis realizes it needs more of what China EV has. Who else do you think could benefit from some Chinese EV tech? Make sure you let us know in the comments below. But what about Leap Motor? This deal will make for easier entry into the global markets, especially the EU. Stellantis, with so many successful brands in Europe, was previously concerned with the wave of incoming Chinese EVs into Europe, which actually spurred the EU probe into subsidies from the Chinese government. Now they've just gone with the, if you can't beat them, join them. In the EU, the mass market for affordable EVs is well underserved and Leap Motor could be the answer. The brand also benefits from a well-needed cash injection from this partnership. However, the real question is, will this partnership be a success? While deals may be made to gain access to critical technology, such partnerships, especially minority shareholdings like this, have a poor track record for success. However, if executed well, Stellantis has a huge opportunity to use Leap Motor's technology across its massive portfolio of brands. What do you think? Will the partnership between Stellantis and Leap Motor be a success or an epic failure? Let us know in the comments below. For me, while I think the news seems quite exciting on the surface, Leap Motors products are not all that great, at least not industry leading in any way. With brands like BYD and Xpeng pouring into Europe, they will have to try very hard to produce competitive offerings for consumers there. The dealers also Stellantis admitting that it's EV gaming's weak. They were not wrong to look for a deal with a Chinese EV brand, but why Leap Motor? I could think of at least five other brands I would have approached for a deal before them. So did they make the right choice? As the auto industry adapts to Chinese growing dominance in the EV sector, partnerships like this one between Stellantis and Leap Motor will become more and more common. It's a race to stay relevant and keep up with the Chinese EV wave, and Stellantis is determined to stay in the race. What do you think of the news? Great success or bound to fail? And if you enjoyed the content, don't forget to give us a like and a subscribe for more EV updates from China. I've been Toby, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time on the China EV Show.